It's the <laughs> it's the Morgan. Of course it's the Morgan. Deep breaths. Stay calm. Try again. Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of this Toka Race Driver 3 World Tour playthrough. You know the drill by now. Nothing else to say. Let's get on with it. You got a face like a bulldog chewing a wasp. I'm gonna bend your ear. Don't let me down this time, son. <laughs> Last time out was tier 17, where we got through the 1960s Grand Prix series. Very straightforward indeed, other than Spa, which was an absolute mess. I also had a little shot in the Lancey Stratos, which sounded amazing and drove like a rally car. Lesson learnt, don't do rallying on Toka Race Driver 3 unless you're on arcade mode, just, just don't. Tier 18 is next up then, and we have the choice between the Civic Type R Trans Cup, the World GT, NGT, and the European V6 Championship. Now straight away I'm going to eliminate the Clios because I've done that already. World GT I'm interested in. I've not done the top class of this of this series yet, only the lower class. I've also not done Honda Civics, so it's kind of a toss up between the two. I'll maybe go and check out the tracks available. So in the Civics we've got Brands Hatch, Netterton, Mondello, and Laguna Seca. So a British Championship with Laguna sprinkled on the end. And with the GTs we have Hockenheim, Laguna, Bathurst, and Zandvoort. Oh I like that. We've not done Hockenheim yet, we've not done Laguna yet, we've not done Bathurst yet. That might be the decision made for me, really. Oh, it's the Mosler, Mosler MT900R. What an absolute weapon this thing is. They just don't build them like this anymore. Mosler. Unbelievable top speed, superb handling, and a proven track record. If your hands on one of those, you'll learn to fly. Is this the Autosport show? It looks a bit like it. Hockenheim GP is first up. No idea how I'm going to perform here, so let's jump into it and see. Now, this is probably going to be the full Formula 1 circuit. It's pretty quick so far. The cockpit camera's going mental. You can already feel the handling's a lot better than the cup cars, actually. Which is surprising. I thought it was going to feel kind of similar, but just a bit quicker. But everything is better about this car so far. A bit like GT3 and GT4 nowadays. That's the Corvette. And we've got the beautiful TVR. Another Corvette up there. Another TVR. So there's multiple cars from... Or multiple of the same car, I should say. With from different teams, which we didn't have in the previous one. Oh, he's coming back at me. On right the outside. That was... Unorthodox, but despite a bit of unfair contact from me, we made it through unscathed. Yeah, only in P6 though, so I know this is the first time on this circuit, so I still need to find some pace, but slightly concerning that I'm not making more progress. Oh, I'm so bad in there. There goes TVR, there goes the hold in, and I am last. Oh, TVR's gone off. I've almost followed them, and I'm still last. Got some yellow suspension damage from some curbs as well earlier. Oh no, wide. No, 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 no. I am nowhere. 130 miles an hour at the apex of turn one. You love to see it. Hang on a minute. It's the, <laughs> it's the Morgan. Of course it's the Morgan. The cup class Morgan, which is always nine miles ahead of everyone else, is actually giving me a run for my money here. This is embarrassing. I cannot get beaten by the Morgan. Look how far ahead it is! It's literally the, the entire back straight ahead of the other cars in the class. I'm going to crash looking at the map. TVR's gone off again at the same corner. You're not learning anything. Can we get P7? There might be points at stake here. Yes. Never been so happy with P7 before. Sideways. Break. No, I can't do that. I'm sorry, but I can't. And it's going to be last. Don't know what you're on about, Rick. Oh dear. P8. I get a point. Consolation, maybe? We have got some work to do here. Let's hope we have more pace at the other circuits, because that wasn't good enough. Laguna next. Another new circuit. Another new challenge. Uh, let's hope we're not last. Top three, please. Yeah, the Monaro's got a terrible start. He's been smashed into by the Morgan. 
let's see where we are pace-wise at Laguna. Oh, oh. Ultima's been smashed by the Corvette. That's David and Goliath, if ever I've seen it. Oh, and I've... Do you know what? Gaining an advantage. Not even going to question that. Just going to hit restart. Let's hope the Manara makes just as bad a start. And it does. Literally a carbon copy. Now is the Corvette going to smash into the Ultima again? Yes, it is. Smashed into... The they literally did the same thing twice in a row. Oh, I've been smashed into now. Oh, get off the gravel. Oh. Deep breaths. Stay calm. Try again. Well, what a surprise. The Monaro's been smashed into by the Morgan. I'm actually part of Russian Doll here. Is that what's going on? Oh, thank you. We're going to find out for sure, because let's see what happens into this corner. Nope. Okay, I can change the course of history. That's that's good to know. That Morgan is so fast, honestly. Go away. Go away, little thing. First time through the corkscrew on Tokyo Race Driver 3. And it's not quite as steep as it is normally. To be fair, it's not actually bad. It looks cool with all the trees there. Seventh position. It's nowhere near good enough. I'm trying so hard. Honestly, these cars are difficult. Oh, TVR's gone off. Stop spinning your wheels at 100 miles an hour. Oh, here comes the Monaro. Judging by the situation there in the first two races, this championship's going to be really difficult and I could sit here and, and try and not come last, but I think the best thing to do would be to take stock and try out the, the Civic since I was undecided between the two anyway, so let's do that instead. Okay, Type R Trans Cup, finished third or above, Honda Civic Type R, Brands Short, Snetterton, Mondello, Laguna, I'm pumped, qualifying off, let's do it. I can't remember the last front wheel drive championship I did, might have been, might have been the um, Literally, the Clio is right at the start. To be honest, the handling of the Mosler wasn't necessarily the problem. It was just the speed of the AI. Like, I was... It was actually feeling not too bad, as long as it didn't spin up the wheels. It was just... Everyone else was so fast, there was nothing I could do about it. Got Conway up in front. Now, Conway used to always be my favourite driver in this game when I was a kid. And I don't know why I remember it, but I always remember rooting for Conway in every championship. I tried to help him get more points. Um, and then that, of course, then led to me really liking Mike Conway in real life. Some weird things you do as a kid. Right, flat out through the middle. Pass champion. Conway's going to slow up to help me. See, he's just backed off. Slowed down west just so I could get the move done. He still remembers me from back in the day. Thank you, sir. Really good to see loyalty isn't dead in this world. Come on. Just this car to beat our first place. Rick, I've only got one corner left. Please don't expect me to do that. It's going to be P2 in the first race. I can absolutely cope with that. Much better than the Mosler anyway. It's good points. I mean, considering we weren't in a position before, I guess you're right. Well done, son. You took straight on to the cleaners. Sure showed Laughing Boy who's boss. Who? Stretham. Is this a new part of the storyline? I've, I've never heard of Stretham before. Apparently Rick's made an enemy or something because he seemed pretty happy that I beat Stretham, although I've never heard of him. I do like that they use recurring driver names in this game though, you know, the likes of Conway I remember, you know, you've got um, Alebar and Aristi from the from the Subaru and Evos before, Martin, Lake, Miller, Bacon, all these names I recognise from previous championships. Snetterton next, I've been pretty successful here so far, so let's keep the momentum going. Fifth on the grid, that's one of the best starting positions I've ever had. Kind of made a slight meal of the start, though. Sixth gear. Here we go. Well, the AI seem pretty good in these Civics, to be fair. And they seem to be racing quite normally, which is nice. The slower the car, the more normal they appear to behave. Oh, thank you very much. Conway, you know what to do. Hold the rest up, let me through. That's the way to do it. 
And it's a 1 2 again for our team. Oh, potholes has gone off. I can't steer either. None what is going on? Everyone's gone off, so no one can actually steer around that last corner, including me. That's nice to know. So maybe they do have some of the similar issues that I have. I wonder if they'll do that every lap. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, that's P1. It's actually keeping me very honest here. Too honest. Are you really going to try that? I'll give you a little bit of room. Yeah, he's backed off. Sensible. The question on my mind is, is it physically possible to get around this corner without understeering off? Let's try. Second gear, really slow. Steering fully. It's possible at 20 miles an hour, but the AI can't seem to do it. Look. Yeah, they can't get around it. That's great. Okay. I guess that makes it easier for me. Flat through turn one. Hit the apex. Hit the second apex. I can relax now. There's no one near me. Hearty chuckle from Rick tells me he's happy. Kind of want to watch the AI all go off like Muppets again. There you go. Bye. We're straight off the road. <laughs> I almost hit the pit wall there. And that is going to be an absolutely dominant display. And I can't even say it was thanks to me driving well. It was thanks to the AI not being capable of driving themselves. I'd say you are safely at the top end of this championship for now. So stay there. Oh no. I've just seen rain. I didn't know you could get rain on the circuits. I thought it was just the rally cross that it rained. I'm now very glad that I got good points in the first two races because my history with rain in this game and this series is no. Just just no. This might be our bogey round, but you know, let's jump into it and, and give it our best shot and see what happens. I'm very intrigued to see how this car handles the rain. Could you imagine the car's trying to get around the last corner of Snetterton in the rain? It's not happening. Starting from P5 again. So Risty up ahead. Now in the rally cross, the AI are really fast in the wet. They drive it like it's dry, effectively. Now I have no idea if it's going to be the same here, but the leader... Okay, they're all rubbish, that's good to know. But the leader, I just saw him like jumping around the corner, miles ahead of everyone. I've been smashed up the rear. Champion's got loads of grip. The rain actually looks pretty good for its age, I'd say. Um, the, the graphics are not an issue at all in the wet. Okay, I don't think I'm quite as quick as the cars around me. And I've got to hold on for four laps, so it's going to be more of a defensive drive, I think, than anything else. And just trying to score like a top six or something for championship points. And they can't turn on the sharp corners, which really does help me like that. Oh well, that's P1. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh wow, that's a new problem I've discovered with the AI. <laughs> oh what a game. Now they're going to catch me on the rest of the lap, there's no question about it, but as long as I'm close, going into the last corner, I'll get them back. It's him right behind me, again. Oh no. Keep out the grass, come on, come on. Back on. I was, that was just me feeling the pressure. Car behind, I thought, he could break really late, why don't I try the same thing? Doesn't work, unfortunately. Let's see if they make the same mistake again. Yep. P2. And so the rhythm continues. Now, let me take P1 through the first corner. There we go, thank you very much. Okay, this is where I went off last time, so break nice and early. Let him crash into the back of me, overtake me, whatever he wants. That'll do it. Tell you what, it's actually going to be... Oh, they've completely ruined themselves. It's going to be really close for P1 in the last lap, because I'm kind of edging closer every lap. Last lap. Let's, get some more points. Let's try not to hit him, because then I can claim that I've won a clean race. That's why I have no grip. And he's not, oh, he's not even going to make it past. Okay, now this is, this is the win then. I just need to keep it on the road in the last corner, and I have the win. There we go. It's going to be P1. Weirdest race of the career so far, possibly, but a win is a win. Smash my best lap time as well. 
Still still comes out with some new quotes every now and then, does Rick? Oh, there's me doing the same thing. Oh, he's actually reversing. Interesting. Where did our apparent rival finish? Stretham. 17th. He does, he's not much of a rival, is he? Okay, we are now 26 points ahead of third. Yes, that means we've done it. I've just checked. I'm, it's 24 points for a win. So, yeah, again, before the final race of the championship, we have guaranteed our pr promotion, I guess? Progression? Happy days. Laguna to finish up. Sunny race. Let's see if I can do a bit better than I did in the Mosler. I'll do this one from Chase Cam just so we can see the cars a bit better. Oh. It's British touring cars. I'm going to try and keep this as clean as possible. I'm going to try and get through this entire race without making a single bit of contact. That is the target. Is it possible to have a fully clean race in Tokyo Race Driver 3? Laguna Seca is probably one of the best models of the circuits they have in the game. Like, it's probably the closest, one of the closest to what you actually find in modern sims. Turn. No. Okay, still need to make no contact, but I need to get back on the road. Oh, and that's gone. Oh, that's very gone. Well, I tried. As soon as you're on that gravel, you need to get back on the road to get any speed at all, but to get, any sp get back on the road, it means making contact with someone, so... That was always going to be a losing battle as soon as I made that stupid mistake. I wonder if Stretham's near the back here, see if I can actually find my rival. Oh, everyone's being an idiot through the last corner. What the heck's going on here? I'm glad they tried to replicate Honda Civic Type R understeer as realistically as they could. That's really quite ahead of its time. Rick, how the heck do you think I'm going to get on the podium from 13th? This is where they all crash into each other. That's great news for me. Sure thing. Sure thing. P10. Maybe, maybe I could win. I mean, if it keeps going like that, who knows? I still haven't seen Stretham, though. Tell you what. Rick might not actually have been wrong. The podium might be possible here. Look at this cluster. He's obviously listening to me. Oh, three wide. No, don't squeeze me onto the gravel. Ah. Okay, they've done it to themselves. It's fine. Okay, how many people are going to go off on the last corner this time? Okay. I almost went off as well. It's, honestly, it's just impossible. And there's chaos behind. That one wasn't as beneficial for me as the last one, so I'm still in P7, but... Again, P5's right there. P3's probably too far ahead now. Oh no. Oh, outside move. I think the podium could still happen. I'm close, I'm in the touching range. If one of those guys goes off, right, I need to break earlier than all them. And use a bit of the handbrake. Oh my god. There we go, there we go. Second place! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, Rick was right. Podium happened. The AI are absolutely dreadful. Unbelievable. That's possibly the craziest tier I've come across yet in this game. And that's saying something. My teammate takes the win. I'm in P2. And that means I win the championship from a teammate. Great stuff for Automobile Grande. Of course, what that means is we've completed the Type R Trans Cup. And we move on to tier 19. Last time I drove the US muscle cars on the dirt ovals did not go well. Haven't tried the Japanese Works Cup yet and those off-road national buggies, I remember them when I was a kid. They are amazing fun, but it's rallycross, so it could be a big challenge. What a bizarre episode episode 12 has been. Honestly, like, I keep thinking I've seen everything that's going to happen in this game and then something else happens, and I'm left shocked. Uh, I just, oh, I don't even know what to say about it anymore. Hopefully you guys are continuing to enjoy the weird and wonderful world of Toka Race Driver 3. And if you are, of course, please make sure you show your appreciation by leaving us a like. Maybe even leave us a comment. Let us know your favourite moments of the series so far. Thank you so much as always for watching. And until next time, keep it pinned and have a great day.